Okay, so this video tutorial is going to look at normalization. It's a process where you take a flat file database and um, turn it into a relational database. The reason we do this, well, it's to reduce errors in our database. A flat file database is usually riddled with data inconsistencies, lots of repeated data. Um, and it's just less efficient. It's, I mean, they're fantastic for doing things like storing small amounts of data, like a contacts list or whatever. But when you start to develop something a little bit more complicated, it does cause problems having a flat file database. You're much better off having a relational database. In this example, we're going to use a DVD rental store. And what I recommend everybody do is use this kind of table format to help you go through the normalization process. It's pretty straightforward. Um, you need five columns and just label them UNF, 1NF, 2NF, 3NF and name. Name is going to be the the names of the tables that you're going to have after you finish the th uh, third normal form process. There are three rules that you need to remember. One for first normal form is remove the repeating groups. Second normal form is remove key dependencies. And then the third one is remove non-key dependencies. And I'll explain that as we go through. The first stage of this is to identify all of the fields that you need for your database and list them under the UNF uh, column. What I usually do is I kind of think, OK, uh, that could be a primary key, so I'll underline that, and that could be a primary key, so I'll underline that. And then I start to look, well, in this system, there's probably going to be uh, a couple of repeating groups, DVD or member. Now, I usually start off with members or clients or customers, something about a person, because it's easy for me to visualise, well, there's one of me, so there should only be one record of me. I shouldn't be duplicated lots of times in a database. So I'm going to say that this is a repeating group. Now, if we look at the first rule of normalization, it says remove repeating groups. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, right, this is a repeating group, so it's going to belong into its own table. And then this is, and this one we'll just ignore for now. So I'm going to copy those across and I'm going to um, drop, you know, drop down the DVD table to kind of separate these two into separate tables. So now we've got a member table and we've got a DVD table, but we need a way of linking them together. Now the way to do that is to just copy the primary key from the non-repeating group, in this case it's the membership um, or the member table, and to paste it into the table of the repeating group. So we now have two tables linked by um, the membership ID. The next stage is to remove key dependencies. Now what that means is you need to look for fields which are dependent upon both primary keys. In this case, um, DVD name, well, that's only dependent upon the DVD ID. It doesn't matter what the membership ID is. Date due, well, that is dependent upon the DVD ID and the member ID because you need to know who's rented the DVD and when is it due back. So actually, those two fields relate to this. Date due is dependent upon both of these. So we know that's going to go in a new table. Certificate, well that's only related to the DVD and certificate of description is only related to the DVD. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove the key dependencies. Remember that's removing keys or non-primary keys which are dependent upon other non-primary keys. So I'm going to drop this down. I'm going to cut that one out and paste it here. And then we need the DVD ID again because we want it to um, be able to link together. So now what we've got is three tables. We've got membership, we've got DVD, and we've effectively got rental. The third stage of normalization is to remove non-key dependencies. Now this is similar to the one above, but in this case, rather than looking for non-primary keys, which are dependent upon primary keys, we're looking for non-primary keys, which are dependent upon other non-primary keys. Now we know membership sorted, uh, rental is also sorted, we're looking now at the DVD ID uh, field. So member name, well that is important because that relates to DVD ID, so that doesn't really meet our criteria it, because that particular non-primary key field relates to a primary key field. Certificate, that is dependent upon the DVD, so that relates to that, doesn't meet our criteria. Certificate description, well, that relates to certificate. It doesn't matter about the DVD ID or the name of the DVD, but it actually just relates to the certificate. So we have found a non-primary key which is dependent upon another non-primary key. So what we need to do is put them into their own table. So I'm going to copy those 
paste them across, drop this one down, and this time I'm going to copy this one, the certificate, and I'm going to paste it in there. This time I'm going to put a little star next to this one, I'll explain that one in a minute, and I'm going to underline this one. We now have four tables. We have a member table, Oops. we have a rental table, we have a DVD table, and we have a certificate table. Let's look at these in more detail. Membership. Well, that's the primary key for that table. All of these fields relate to member ID. That's fine. We know that's fine. DVD. DVD name and the certificate relate to the specific DVD, so we know that's fine. We need to know which member has booked the DVD. We can tell that by looking at the rental table, and we know by looking at date due when that DVD is due back in. Certificate here has a star next to it. Now this star means this is a foreign key. A foreign key is when it's, there is a field which is a primary key in one table but not another. In this case, certificate or cert is a primary key in the certificate table but it's not a uh, primary key here. So we label it with a star to show that it is a foreign key. And that's normalization. Let's quickly uh, recap over those just to check what we've got. First, norm oh, unnormal form. Uh, we know it's an unnormal form because the files are listed, uh, all the fields are listed basically as one table. I've grouped them here just to show like the repeating group, the possible repeating group, uh, which is here, but that's okay. We know we've just got to list them out. First normal form, we know it's in first normal form because the repeating group has been removed and the primary key from the non-repeating group, in this case it was membership ID, has been moved into the table of the repeating group. Second normal form requires you to remove key dependencies. So we're looking for fields which in, uh, depend upon uh, both primary keys. So in this case, uh, when we look at this one, we were looking for fields uh, that related to both of these fields here. And we decided it was date due. Okay, So they go into their own table like I've shown you here. So for it to be in second normal form, it has to be in first normal form and it must remove key dependencies. And finally, to have it in third normal form, um, we need to make sure that you remove non-key dependencies. So you're looking for fields which are dependent upon both non, uh, uh, which are dependent upon other non-primary keys. So in this case, certificate description related to certificate, which is a non-primary key. So they go into their own table, and that's it. That's the normal form. That's a, uh, a database that's uh, relational. That will help you cut down on data inconsistencies, duplicated data. Um, and yeah, I hope you found this tutorial useful and easy to follow.